form not only prevents injuries, but also ensures that you are working the intended muscles. So here to help us with our form, our fitness expert, Brent Bishop, joins me. I actually have to think about my posture all the time on the show because the tendency is to just like do this. this, right? And that's why we're not supposed to sit all the time. So we're going to talk about the turtle, form. by the way. The turtle. turtle. You're just yeah, I do a lot of turtle. So you're supposed to stand like this, which just looks so extra to me. Look at this. <laughs> like, come on. But this is the right way to stand. It's the right way to stand. It's the right way to stand. And then you train the right muscles, right? That's right. Okay, now what are we going to do in terms of proper form? Things that people are often doing wrong at the gym. So foundational strength is, is critical, not only for results, but also injury prevention. Yes. Right? So we should all know how to squat, how to lift things properly, how to at least learn yeah. to do things properly. Yeah. So we'll go through a few exercises here that are, that are really important to do properly because you can injure yourself. Okay. Uh, the first one is a deadlift, so I'm going to give you the weights. You're the, yes. you're the guinea pig here. I'm the fitness so, model. <laughs> so this, this applies to picking up anything. It could be, you know, kettlebell, a bar, a, a flower pot, yep. whatever it is. You want the weight, so with a deadlift, you're actually, you're conventional deadlift, you're going to bend your knees, okay? Yep. You typically pick up from the ground. Yep. You want your weight pushed back into the heels. So you feel that? So you're loading the hamstrings, yep. loading the glutes, right? Bringing the shoulders back, chest high as you already did. And then from there, you drive through the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top of the movement. So yep, trace, that, trace that them. back down again. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So the common error is to come forward on the knees. Oh, like this. And the further forward that weight, by the way, puts a lot of stress on I your, can feel on your back, it. Yeah, right? I can feel so it. So closer, you should almost rub the shins as you come up. In the okay. Back. Yeah. Perfect. Good. We all know you got good form on the, on the deadlift. Well, you know, I listen to you Stop and I watch off. City Line. <laughs> okay, I'll stop showing off now. Okay, what next one? All right, so another one, I, I added this one in because it's commonly done incorrectly. Yeah. It's the bent over row. Yes. So, again, it's a hinge position. You're going to hinge forward from the hips, okay? So not this way, but from the hips. Yep. You want to keep that natural curve in your low back. Yeah. So your back muscles should be engaged as they are. Yeah. Okay, protecting the spine. I'll give you the weights. And then go a little bit further to the ground. Yeah, so from there you want to draw your mid blades together as you pull and exhale, exactly. And what do you want to feel pinching when you do this? You want to feel right in the middle of the scapula, so the middle of your shoulder blades, yep. and try not to shrug, okay? Got so it. Head position is good, you want it to be neutral so you don't overly use your upper trapezius there. Core tight, and that's great. Good. And okay, you can, you can that's a proper a row. Those. You can bang off a lot of those. Okay, so next one. Um, talking about the lower body, so anything like a, a squat, a step up, a lunge, yeah. there are pretty much the same principles that apply. So okay. we're going to go into a step up. So I get you to put your left leg up. Yep. Okay. So the important thing is, is here, so a lot of times people will, for one, not put their entire foot on the step, mm -hmm. okay, which is important. This is you want... dangerous. I was doing these and I got tired at the gym. I landed on my shins. <clears throat> it can be dangerous. That hurts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's not just about pushing up. It's about, again, engaging the glutes by driving through your heel. Okay. Right. So you're, you're shifting forward. Yeah, there you go. Controlled on the way down. And you're already doing it, but not a lot of weight transfer to the back leg because you want the emphasis to be on the top leg. Right. right? So this is doing all the work, essentially. Exactly. Right? And it, a step up can be quite challenging, even at this level, if you're doing it correctly and not bouncing off the ground, right? And also, when you, when you start doing it with weights, you want to pass yeah, me the dumbbells? Absolutely. <laughs> Music to his ears. <laughs> but when you start adding yeah, so weights, shoulders are back, that's perfect. it starts to become more challenging. Absolutely. Okay, good. That's great. Okay, so we got the step up. So then the same thing would apply to your lunge. By the way, I will say, if you have knee issues or if your knees bother you, you're not confident with a lunge, yeah. try a reverse lunge as opposed to a forward lunge. Oh, are they going to the, be a bit easier on the knees? It'll be easier on the knees for the, one of the reasons is when you go on a forward lunge, the trajectory is forward, so you put a lot of pressure tendency on the ball of the foot. Yes. Which puts it all into the knee. Okay. So reverse lunge, you can allow yourself to really focus on that heel as you step back. Got it. Right, yeah, that so is a little bit a, easier. Just a better way to start if you're concerned about your knees. Okay, good sure. stuff. All right, I'm going to pull this aside. Yes. And let's get you down planking. Okay. okay so a common Remember exercise most people know. was a thing and everybody was planking all over the place yes. and it got really it's, silly. It's a great exercise. It is a good so exercise. So we'll go from the, for, the forearms, yeah. So you'll notice, again, shoulder is right above the elbow, which is exactly what we want. I'm just looking at the shot the camera's getting. <laughs> That's it's all, all I it's care all good. about. It's, it's my all good. bum clenched. So speaking of bum clenched, this is an important one. So do, do something for me. Drop it, drop down through here. Okay, that is incorrect. So right now she's got an anterior pelvic tilt. You want to almost go pubic bone to belly button, okay? So okay. posterior pelvic, there you go. So flattened out a little bit, natural curve. Uh, if you squeeze the glutes, it does also stabilize the spine. I'm okay? squeezing and I'm shaking. How long can you, you hold see? for? <laughs> I, can, I can hang out here for a while, that's, that's but a don't ask position. me to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what I will get you to do, though, is you're going to lie on the ground. Okay. And we're going to go into a push-up. Okay. So another commonly done uh, incorrect 
So before you do it, I'll get you to go down again. Okay. So you want to line your, your middle finger yeah. just below the shoulder, okay? So not above it. Right. Which is a common error. And this side is good too? You got it. Yeah, about 45 degrees with your elbows. From there, tighten your core up. And what again, do think I do of that with scene. my head? Head goes neutral. Yeah, like face this? the ground. You got it. Okay. So tighten your core up. Yeah. Lift the thighs off the ground. Yeah. Good. Inhale down, exhale up, and you got it. That's perfection. Good. Nice, nice. So another thing is just don't sacrifice your uh, your form for reps. A lot of times people will do that. You got to be careful in class scenarios. Classes are great. Group class is great. But do you do group be aware. classes? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And so how do you make sure everyone is doing everything correctly? Well, that's the thing. I, my suggestion is always to look for a sort of a lower uh, client to trainer ratio. Yeah. So you know somewhere around 10 to 12 people in the class is great because then they can focus a little bit more on the individual. Okay. But don't don't try to push it through just because other people are. If you're not sure, if you're feeling something that's not right, yeah. Back off a little bit. Wait to advance your your progress. And Do get it that properly, form. not Proper. a gazillion of them. Do them Absolutely. properly. Thanks, man. You got Put it. it here.